just tell me uh, how important is this helmet to the collection? Next to me here is part of a, a, a new exhibition um, to commemorate that 50th anniversary. We have Brian Trubshaw's helmet. Brian Trubshaw was particularly important with him and his colleagues during the 60s and 70s developing um, Concorde. Brian was a former test pilot and was involved in flying a number of, of jet aircraft in the 60s and 70s. Him and, and, and the team around him worked extensively on developing Concorde. Um, and he was actually at the controls of 002, our Concorde here at the Fleet Town Museum, on the 9th of April 1969, when 002 took to the skies for the first time when it flew from Filton um, to RAF Fairfoot in Gloucester. We've got a contingent of 200 people um, starting at Bristol, coming all the, the way up to, to us here at the Fleet Tower Museum, almost a Concord Calvisade on the 9th of April, um, which is open to the general public as well. A few tickets still remain. We'll be offering um, 50 Concord goodie bags um, to the first 50 children that visit our museum during the, the school holidays um, this coming April, on the 9th of April. Um, one of those particular goodie bags will contain a golden boarding pass um, and it's the golden boarding pass for one lucky winner who, whose family will get to sit inside the, the cockpit of Concorde. As far as British Concords are concerned, people will see the first British Concorde in service and the last British Concorde in service by visiting both sites, both here at the Fleet Arrow Museum and also the Aerospace Bristol site at Filton.